y'all trying to get out here and listen to some good type music, some feel good, you know, all that good, get the type to put a little smile on your mouth, to put a little thought on your brain, well, guess what? I know y'all know about all these mainstream type artists and stuff like that, but I'm finna give you all my top three YouTube artists. And when I say about YouTube artists, I'm saying, and the reason why some of you may not know of these people, some of you may know of them, uh, but you know, honestly, they're just, honestly, my top three. And I was gonna put KSI on the list, but but then again, I was like, I, I sort of kind of listen to KSI, I really don't. But I do at the same time because I was like I do like some of his music, but then again I'm like he kind of reached the top of the charts in uh, over there in the UK, so I can't really say he's like undiscovered or unknown. So these are kind of like more of um, more like unknown talents, even though they do got a lot of subscribers. But let's start the list. Coming in at number three, I have to give it to my boy Kevin Lashawn. And if you don't know Kevin LaShawn, he runs a gaming channel also known as Expert Thief. Now, I've been subscribed to him for a little bit, but I, but I was only really interested in you know, his gaming videos. I was like, because he, what got me interested, he started up uh, this series called Thug Life. And I was like, hey, and it was like a GTA series. And I was like, hey, that's what's up, that's what's up, that's what's up. But then, I noticed like in his videos he would start rapping and like just at random points so I was like you know what he's not half bad he's actually he's only, I was like okay 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 and now he's actually taking it pretty seriously and he's actually making his own songs and making his own beats and I'm like they kind of turn and I'm like you know if you went to like um the little Yachty type beats, little Uzi type beats, but he actually got better bars than them, than both of them. So I'm like, I feel like you should all should go check him out, you know? And if, if you don't like him for his music, you should definitely check out his gaming videos, because either way. Number two, and this is what I've recently started listening to around a month ago, maybe not even a month ago, maybe a few weeks ago, uh, but his name is Trap Terrell. Terrell, I discovered him because in my link, like in one of my links under a few videos I was watching, I saw something called the Timmy Turner story, parts one through four. I listened to it and I was like, my man got bars, oh my God. Like, guy has really sick bars. He does, he does his freestyles over many different artists songs, but that is not what got him famous. I believe what really got him famous is his amazing ability to tell stories within his within his raps, within his lyrics. Like he will tell you a whole story, a whole soap opera or something like that just within his music. And I just think that's an incredible talent. And I'm like, if you haven't checked it out, you should definitely check it out. I personally recommend the Timmy Turner story because Man, that's some deep shit, but let's go on to the final one. My, and my number one pick, my number one pick, anyone who know me saw this coming, has to be David So. The reason why I say David So, for a lot of you, if you know me, you know I'm a big fan of David So. It's this, this Korean, uh, comedy YouTuber. He he does you know vlogs and he he, he used to do a lot of stand up cam comedy. But what a lot of people don't know, well a lot of people know now, is that he actually did music back in the day. And he actually still is kind of. I always see him on JK News and he'll just burst out a song out of nowhere. And I was like, David got a really good ass voice. But then I found out he had another channel called David Soul Music. And then over there he had a lot of he had a lot of covers and a lot of uh, originals. And when I tell you to this day, like I have like um like a love playlist. Ninety five percent of that playlist is David So. I'm not I'm not joking. Like you can ask anyone near me. I was literally obsessed. Like my like my favorite covers that he did was Honeymoon Avenue. I miss her and Teach Me. But I was like, and my favorite one of his originals is his song Always. If you want to check out any of them, I swear he hits them notes. He hits, he hits everything. He's like, and to my, in my honest opinion, he sings it better, better. <laughs> he sings it better than the original artist. And I'm like, if you 
really want to look for that good R&B type feel songs, you know, you should definitely check out David Soul. And if you, you know, even if you don't like his music, check out his company. He's a funny ass. He's a funny ass YouTuber, like on the real. Shit, he's 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 part of the reason why I started up my channel. I honestly think those right now are my top three artists. And uh, I know a, I know a few other artists because there's a bunch of artists I want to um put on this list. But just for the simple fact, I feel like these three kind of stand out for me at least, and for also for the simple fact that um like some of the other artists that are also associated with uh like one of like the three people on this list so i really couldn't just put it right there but you know make sure you hit that notification bell for future videos make sure you tell your friends about jam junk let's go ahead grow together i'm already almost close to 200 let's get to a thousand why not let's do it um but you know until next time stay true stay easy stay calm stay breezy it's been your boy jordan <laughs>